so today I'm reacting to Fairy Tale episode 258 and 259. I was told to watch these past three episodes all together and I just wanted to separate it by video, but yes, because I still have my Loxus shirt on. You know, I really feel like the animators, they know, they know we love Loxus, at least people like me. <laughs> because, because we are being blessed by many cute shots of Loxus with Juvia and it's just like, oh, I'm definitely going to edit those. <laughs> The Juvia ones will definitely be easier. The Gajiel one that I worked on was a lot harder because like obviously Gajiel is a big dude and trying to like Photoshop him out of it was a little tricky, but it's like a lot of material. <laughs> Just Igneel showing up at the end. We discover that Igneel was inside of Natsu this entire time. And Natsu's face at the end, it was just oh, so precious, so precious. So I am excited to start this reaction. But before I get started with this reaction, I just wanted to give a huge shout out to my patrons, King of the Pirates and Above Tier. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support, not only on Patreon, but also on YouTube. When you like, share, and subscribe to my channel, it truly means the world to me. Again, a huge thank you to you guys. You guys are amazing. Sparkles, sparkles, sparkles. Okay guys, time to get into fairy tale. Without further ado, let's go fairy tale. Pew. Oh. Okay. Oh man. It's gonna get emotional, I feel it. To think that he just disappeared like that. But he was always with him. Yeah! It was! Oh my gosh! It just like. Mind blowing. This was the uh, Aknologia. It's crazy to think about. It is interesting though that all this time though, if Igneel was inside of Natsu, the fact that before he never like decided to appear though, the last time the Aknologi attacked, but like now he's popping out. I wonder what it feels like to have a dragon just like pop out of you. <laughs> Also, does that mean that Natsu's like not as strong now? Or does that have nothing to do with? Oh man. And now we get a dragon fight! Again, would be crazy to see. Just bumping heads. Uh, be careful. Yeah! Yeah, okay. Is dragons... Oh, is it like each dragon was trying to figure out who's gonna like pop out of them? <laughs> but they said they killed their map. They killed their dragons though. So I guess, I guess technically... Okay, we need to take that book and we need to burn it. I wonder if they're going to figure it out. It'd be crazy though, seeing a dragon fight with them. Yeah. <laughs> Does she know? Oh. I wonder if they're gonna be like... <gasps> and he's just watching. This can't be good. Oh, great. Okay. Aknologia, sure, but not Igneel. I swear. I, I feel like something bad's gonna happen to him, though. You think Natsu really knows? I'm like, he's... But he's here, so... Is he gonna get mad at him? <laughs> Yeah, there's Natsu. <laughs> He's gonna go up there. Dude, just blast it off. <laughs> He's gonna hit him. <laughs> uh, we're gonna find out that they're all inside of them? I think Igneel, he has this though. Aww, Gajio. 
Okay, is this it? Could this be the end? <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? What the heck? How is he supposed to take it down? That's insane. I'm fired up. <laughs> oh, come on. They're gonna... They're gonna... Oh, I thought they were gonna do a little team-up thing. There better be a later. You promise? Is he gonna... Is he gonna destroy it? That's his mission now? Oh, man. That's a lot. <laughs> Aww, this is so wholesome. <laughs> you guys, I'm scared. Oh gosh, please. I, oh, keep your promise, McNeil. This is just too much for my heart. Also, where's Gray? Like, where's Gray? I also feel like because he said that, I feel like the book is accidentally going to be opened. Because we make a point to say, don't open it, but I feel like it might accidentally be opened. Or he'll just open it. Go, Natsu! <laughs> Natsu! Aww! Of course. What a flashy entrance. <laughs> oh, Natsu! Oh, Though I love the little transitions between them. Yes. Knock his freaking psycho face. Come on, Natsu. Oh, come on, Natsu! <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, this is so beautiful! Yes! Let's go! Oh, the fact he's smiling still is a little disturbing. Oh my gosh, it just never ends. There's always something. Oh gosh. Okay, stop her! They seriously just watch her do this? Like... I'm just a little surprised that she did that and no one's stepping in. I guess shock is a thing. So, what happens if you just destroy her at this point? Yeah, okay, why just say that? Oh, great. <sighs> I'm assuming it's going to be resolved in this next episode. I mean, first of all, telling... I feel like villains always fail when they tell the other person their plan. They get too cocky. Like, here she goes, like, hey, you know what? If you stop me, you'll stop Face. So, so at this point, I feel like there's no way Face is going to be activated. There's no way. Even though she says, like, my new form, like, I have my new form, whatever. I have faith in Erza, and I feel like she'll win. I feel like I am worried, though, because, oh, whenever characters make a point, they make promises, and then they separate, I'm just, Igneal, I will be so upset, knowing fairy tale, I'm scared. So that is in the back of my mind, I am very nervous, but, you know, being able to find out just everything about the dragons, like, even as a viewer, would be amazing. So, Igneal, you better stay with us, dude. I swear. <laughs> oh my gosh. The problem is, like, in my head, I'm like, okay, you have a character that's a dragon. And how powerful they are. Like, they can't really stick around, right? I'm gonna do another episode. I am very nervous. But we're gonna have to see how this is gonna turn out. And hopefully Erza can win this fight. And hopefully Natsu can win this fight. And hopefully Igneal can win this fight. So I'm gonna do another episode. Let's go. Oh, that's not good. Oh, okay, okay. Wonderful. This would be terrifying. Terrifying. You would think, why didn't she do this earlier then? Which I guess, you know, her life, but...
Erza has a lot, like, she is gonna, oh, it's like the fate of everything depends on her right now. Well, and Natsu too, because, mm. Okay, her demonic just shouting is, what the heck? Okay, I feel like someone needs to help her. Maybe Minerva will. She's terrifying. Whoa. Some powerful punches there. Those stupid things, it's like... <laughs> they're just flying in the sky, like... And now they're burning. Crazy. Maybe... Agneel's got some abs too, though. <laughs> Maybe he can, like, get the Akhnolagia to join. Like, good, the side of good. I feel like she's right. <laughs> He'll be okay. Oh, gosh. I feel like Gray might show up, though. Because he had a power boost. So what if he just opens the book in front of Natsu, though? Like, what's it going to do, though, if you open it? Damn, Erza going through so much pain in this arc! Oh my gosh! This is insane! If the wind hurts that much, I can't even imagine that! This can't be happening. Did she just take everything off of her? Okay. Oh, what the hell? Whoa. No way she just did that. What? This is so sad. Watching Erza just being tortured like this. It's really freaking making me mad. She really can't see now. Oh, I freaking hate her. Shut the frick up. Oh, oh, what? She's fighting blind, can't feel anything, can't hear anything. What is going on? What is going on? That's a little ridiculous, though, not gonna lie. <laughs> Oh. This can be undone, right? Oh. oh! Thank goodness! Gosh, she was really making me mad! Oh. Damn, Marissa! That's insane! I was so just like... The level of how disturbing that was? Oh. oh. Are they just gonna pop out of the ground? <laughs> Man, this dragon fight's still going. <laughs> <sighs> okay, we need to stop face. <laughs> okay, Erza, overpowered girl. The fact she's doing all of this, like what could stop her? Like, honestly, I feel like nothing at this point could stop her. <laughs> there you go. Honestly, yes, at this point, it's just Erza. Love seeing her mad. Oh, okay, that's not good. Okay. Okay. Finish her off. Finish her off. No. Oh my gosh. What? Okay. Okay. What? Oh my gosh, someone has to step in and do something! Okay, she still has the fire in her. <laughs> but she like faking her out there? What was going on? Please say she's down now. Yeah! A scary level. Strong. Like, I don't think anyone else could do that. Like, what? 
Insane. Is the clock going to stop now? Also, is she going to get her sight back and everything? Oh my gosh. No way. Oh, wait. Is this how... <laughs> is it going to like stab her last second? No? The sword's flying. It's going <laughs> to... Okay, Minerva. Someone? Oh. 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 Oh, she used her ability. Hey, Minerva. Never thought I would say that. Like, yay, Minerva. Oh, no. 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 No, no, no. Please say it didn't run out. Please say it didn't run out. <gasps> what? <laughs> what? Wait, wait. No, no, no. What? There's an on sign. <laughs> no way. That's not actually going off. What? Something else is going to happen. No way. No way. No, this is where the episode's gonna- Okay, whoever told me to watch three episodes, guys, like, I didn't actually expect the thing to go off. Okay, what a crazy way to end. Like, face actually being activated. I expected the last second to zero zero, but it like would have been turned off. Now, I feel like the next episode, maybe there's still time. Maybe. Now, I just want to talk about the Erza thing in this episode because I feel like there's a point where it just gets a little too absurd. The girl lost all of her senses, but she still was fighting. And to me, I feel like they could have just left that part out because she was fighting under extreme pain. Like, that was impressive in itself. But it did go a little crazy when, you know, Erza still could fight after losing all of her senses. And in that moment, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, are we going to see Erza die? Like, is that actually going to happen? Happy's explanation was pretty funny, though. It's like, because it's Erza, you know, it's Erza. But besides that, you know, it was a really cool Erza moment. But now Erza is like super overpowered. That was a bit over the top. It was a bit over the top. I'm just curious what's gonna happen now. If face actually goes off and everyone loses their magic, if face goes off, but if maybe Natsu can catch Mardgear off guard. Um, another thing though, I was thinking of this too with the Devil Slayer magic. It is magic, right? Like it's still magic. Would face actually affect that? I can't really remember if they said it would just affect like regular magic. It is still magic. So would it be affected? I am also very curious about why Natsu can't open the book. What will happen if he just looks into it? Will it kill him? Like what would happen? They keep making a point to remind us not to open the book, which in my head, I'm like, okay, I've seen a lot of movies. I've seen a lot of shows where Something is said and then, you know, accidentally it'll happen, which I'm banking on. And I really hope that if Natsu actually like looks into the book, it won't kill him. <laughs> I doubt it. He's a main character, but you never know. You never know. Um, great episode though. Just Igneal. Oh my gosh. Natsu and Igneal and just how their attacks were in sync. And I just loved it. I loved it. It was so cute. But that was a perfect bunch of episodes. I guess I would understand. I feel like now we have another situation going on, which probably will be in the next couple of episodes. But I'm going down the reaction there. Thank you guys so much for checking out my fairy tale reaction. If you like this video, give it a like. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more of some fairy tale content and other anime things. And as always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Stay fresh and bye.